I think we've all heard about endorphins and that it makes us feel good during or after exercise. But what is endorphins more precisely? Well, there really are three types of endorphins, but for our purposes, which has to do with training and exercise, that is a little bit beyond the scope of this video. The word endorphin is put together from two words, both from Greek, from the Greek language. Uh, endon meaning from within, in this case from within the body, and Morpheus, which is the Greek god of dreams. So endorphins, two words into one. Endorphin is produced and released mostly from the pituitary gland and its release is induced by pain, so it inhibits pain. Interestingly, it can act on both the central nervous system, the CNS, and the peripheral nervous system, the PNS. It functions by inhibiting the transmission or stopping uh, the pain signals from reaching the nervous system. But exactly how that happens is also a little bit beyond the scope of this video. One way of explaining what endorphin is, is to say that it's the body's own internally produced uh, morphine. It's not only pain which can trigger the release of endorphin though. It's been demonstrated that meditation can do it, a, a vigorous aerobic exercise can do it, laughter can do it, and sex can do it. You've probably heard about something called runner's eye, which is a fairly intoxicating feeling you can sometimes get when you're running for a long time. You need a bit of uh, experience in running and you have to do it for quite some time before you get into this feeling. But this is a kind of high that at least previously was known or thought to be the result of endorphin release. Uh, and it's, uh, it may be partly true, but it's more recently been shown that it's more likely that endocannabinoids are responsible for this phenomenon. 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 More than endorphins anyway. And again, endo means from within, so endocannabinoids is actually the body's own internally produced uh, cannabis, more or less. We do know that endorphins help battling depression and anxiety. And we do know that you can be somewhat uh, addicted to it. And that's also what's behind the exercise addiction. So, in short and simple terms, endorphin. It's a pain relieving substance. It's produced in your own body. It reduces pain and it makes you feel good.